What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to HD Commentary. My name is Bob and today we're gonna be looking at my first episode of Let's Play a Game Monday. Uh, this episode is gonna be about Counter-Strike GO as someone requested on the OT Land forums. And it's actually a game I haven't played in a long, long time. You know, Counter-Strike Source was a game I played a lot, but Counter-Strike GO wasn't really my favorite. And uh, the reason for that is basically because the, the shooting mechanisms, the way you shoot and the, the, the way the weapons react to your shooting is just not the same anymore. Like, if you're used to Counter-Strike Source, then Counter-Strike GO is something... Ex you know, it, it's really different. Like... Um, in Counter-Strike Source, you were able to spray pretty nicely, if you know how to spray, you know, I had this strategy where you aim down, like you aim on their feet or something, and you just spray the heck out of them, and you, you actually shoot them, and they die. Nice, right? But, in, in this game, spraying seems impossible to me, and sometimes it is possible, you know, it's really weird, it's not like you, you can actually train it, it's looking like it's really lucky, that's what it is. Now, this is one of my good games of Counter Strike Go. I played about four games. This beginning is pretty insane, as you can see. I, I just headshot everybody. Uh, so, yeah, the starting of this game was really good. And the rest of the game was kind of meh. It was not that good, actually, but it's the best I could get. And it's a let's play game. It's not about me playing like a boss. It's about me giving a review about this game, uh, telling you what I think about this, and maybe making you play it as well. Right? Alright. Uh, so I'm gonna be comparing Counter-Strike Source to Counter-Strike Go in this video mainly. Um, so let me get started with that. I already started a little bit, but the, the main difference about Counter-Strike Go and Counter-Strike Source is that the, the graphics are insanely good in Counter-Strike Go compared to Counter-Strike Source. You know, Counter-Strike Source is an old game. It, it released uh, in the year of 2002 or something. It's really old. You know, I played it when I was still on <coughs> lower school, so I was about 12 years old and I already played Counter-Strike Source in uh, the game hall here's a, here at the Netherlands um, the game hall doesn't exist anymore oh man, <laughs> good times uh, you know, I used to go there with all my friends and play Counter-Strike Source there uh, I paid like 10 bucks and you could play games for 3 hours you had the ability to play any game there it was awesome, and Counter-Strike Source was one of my first first version shooters as well, so uh, for me, it was like an amazing game, and the graphics in that time were actually really stunning. But over time, Counter-Strike Source graphics went... Uh, well, it actually is not that good anymore. If you look at it now, people are probably like, what the fuck is this game? Why would you even play this? Because the graphics are not like Call of Duty Ghosts, or they are not like Battlefield. They are very, very easy and very clean. I must say, it's not like they, they spam the details everywhere. It's just really nice to look at, and it's really nice to play. And it will give you a nice frame. <coughs> oh my god. My, my voice is kind of fucking up right here. Sorry about that. But it's kind of giving a good good feeling about um, about the way you play, and giving a good frame rate for you. So it's, Counter Strike Source was really good. Uh, Counter Strike Go is <coughs> made on the, the Left 4 Dead 2 engine. So. As you can see, it's actually looking really good. Um, the, the game looks really good. Uh, the, 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 yeah, that's kind of what I want to say about the graphics. Uh, and now I want to go over to what, what else did they change. Like, the maps are still the same. You're, you're looking at the train map. This map has been there since Counter-Strike 1.6, which was released in... Before 2000? I don't know, it was a really... It's a really old game, and... In every Counter-Strike, they, they keep those maps, the, the classic good maps, they keep that in there and they just update it a little bit uh, to make it more visually beautiful and um, like this area, this is new, they added something, you know, it's kind of updated. You can see there's a, a little patch for a map, they, they just patch the maps, alright? <clears throat> but it's really good and people, especially for people that played Counter-Strike before, uh, it, it gives you that feeling that you don't have to get used to the maps anymore because you already know the map. So that was one uh, one advantage for me, really. Uh, but yeah, overall it's a good game. Uh, the shooting is different, that's annoying me a lot as a Counter-Strike Source player. Uh, since, you know, if you look at the trailer and stuff, it's looking really good and you're like, oh my god, this is just like Counter-Strike Source, but it's only looking better. Wow, I want this! But then when you're actually playing it, you're like, why do I suck so much? 
<laughs> you just don't understand it. Like, if you have a good enemy Counter Strike source, it's just not. It doesn't give you the same kind of feeling, and not that same kind of overpoweredness when you're really good. Um, so yeah, probably I just really suck at this game. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I was good at Counter Strike Source, but Counter Strike Go is not really my my cup of tea. Um, that's a good thing that they added all the game modes in there. Like in Counter Strike Source, the gun game and the deathmatch, they were all modded servers, so they were not from the official servers of Valve. And in Counter Strike Go, they added that to the actual game. So that's good. You know, you you can find a game just like any Call of Duty game or anything. You can go in queue, find a game, deathmatch, gun game, whatever, it will find a game for you. It's actually from the official Valve servers, which is actually really good. Uh, in Counter-Strike Source, it was mainly modded servers, so everybody made their own server with their own mods. And, <clears throat> you know, like deathmatch, it wasn't official, it wasn't by Valve itself. The official servers by Valve were just a server where you play uh, bomb defuse or... Uh, rescue the hostages, st stuff like that. You know, you also have that in this game. And my phone is fucking up again. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> I'm just, I don't know why this is. Probably because I'm drinking coffee or something. I don't know. <laughs> just fucking up, anyways. <clears throat> but yeah, um, overall, this game, if I gotta compare it to Counter Strike Source and all the other Counter Strikes, it's a good game. The, it's a really good game. They, they actually, not only is it a good game, but they, they made it. They made it for the Xbox and PlayStation as well, I think. For Xbox, Xbox at least. I know it's for the Xbox, just like Left 4 Dead 2. But they have also made it for uh, <clears throat> this game, they made it for the Xbox as well. Now, I don't know how that's going to be playing out, because I've never played it on an Xbox. But what I do think is that it's going to be extremely hard to shoot people in the, on the Xbox version. You know, I used to be... Um, oh my god, I'm getting a phone call. Not now. Alright, so, uh, I used to be... Uh, on the Xbox, I'm, I'm a good Call of Duty player, right? I know how to shoot people on Call of Duty on the Xbox. All right, but this game, you know, on the PC, it's already hard to, to shoot people because it's all about your aim this game. You know, it's not a normal Call of Duty shooter where you can just spray the heck out of someone and just kill someone. You have to burst fire because your, your bullets go everywhere in this game. It goes literally everywhere and if you, if you don't burst fire, um, you're gonna get fucked. Now, of course, on Xbox, you can do this as well. But, with a controller, you know, I think they have added a lot of aim assist to make it even playable. Or, you, yeah, you know, it, it, it has to be fun, the game, and it's not gonna be fun when you have to try so hard to just aim on a, on a character, and that's... That's my main concern for the Xbox version. Now, I cannot really say anything about it since I have not never played this game on the Xbox. So maybe it's really good. I don't know. But in my opinion, it's not really a game for the Xbox. Uh, just like you know, you know, no, no, never mind. I was I was gonna say Battlefield is not really a game for the Xbox, and it's not. But Battlefield is different. It's it's still kind of playable, and that's good. Um, you know, it just sucked that the graphics are so bad on Xbox versions. But yeah, um, Valve, they're, they're currently expanding their, their franchise. It's going, uh, going on on the consoles and stuff. And they're actually making their own console at the moment, which is called the Steam Box. Which is really awesome as well. Uh, it's actually a PC, you know. It, it is a PC, actually. But they have added their own, uh, how do you call it, uh, operating system. So instead of Windows, you will have Steam or something. <laughs> Steam OS, they will call it probably, I don't know. But it's gonna be cool because you can just buy that and have the best gaming performance you can ever get on a console, right? It's just like a PC, but it is a console, so it will probably be more... It will be cheaper, but it's mainly made for games. It's optimized for games, which is really cool. So you can play the games you like to play. Uh, you can probably just put a mouse in there, I don't know. They will have some kind of weird controller. I, but I don't know, they might be just adding the, the opportunity or the possibility to just add your mouse and keyboard. You know, why the hell not? People want that. Then why would you need a PC if you have a console that can run everything, which can also be played with your keyboard and your mouse, if you really like. Yep, it's an awesome thing. So I, I fully support Steam and everything they do. Uh, Valve is is a great company, they've always supported us with the best content they have, and all their games are actually really good. They're not too difficult, not too hard, and they're all pretty nice to play. Um, they, they keep things up to date, they patch things regularly, 
and they keep us excited with new stuff going on. So, uh, Counter-Strike Source is a really awesome game. Counter-Strike Global Offensive is also an awesome game. If you have not played Counter-Strike Source before, then it's probably a really cool game for you, because, you know, as a, as a Counter-Strike Source player, it's really annoying to play such a game, but I think if it's gonna be your first game, so if you have not played any uh, Counter-Strikes before, then it's actually going to be a lot of fun, because you have all these mods and stuff, so it's really cool. So this was the first Let's Play a Game video about Counter-Strike Lobo Offensive. Now please post in the comments what you think, and what video or what game you want to see in the next episode of Let's Play a Game. This was Bob, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye!